The USC STEM program is kind of very new and innovative. In fact, it's one of the very first times that a preschool program has been federally funded for research in STEM education, sort of an arm of engineering education. And we're testing some of the technology and the curriculum with a smaller group of children, families, and teachers. And then we intend to perfect it. We're conducting research with it and then we're gonna move forward with a national effort. I think that in the world that we're living in, children naturally are gravitating towards technology, and we need to make sure that we take advantage of this interest and that we support their curiosity and give them early exposure. I think it's necessary and I think it's important. Technology in the classroom can be intimidating for teachers, especially at such a young age. And for years we've been telling our parents that it, we shouldn't be using that type of technology with children, they should be playing. In the last few years, we've kind of flipped that around where we've been having children remote and now we're telling them technology is okay in a developmentally appropriate manner. Children in um, early childhood are fascinated by technology and making things, which is a precursor for engineering design. And so we're gonna play on that through play and um, work with them on learning engineering design as a very young child and working with technology. And we're gonna teach their teachers and their families how to inspire them and to make them safe while they're learning things like you know, uh, technology and using the internet and playing with robots and things like that, but also developmentally appropriate because they're so young. It's important to teach cybersecurity and cyber safety to children because we're using more and more technology every day. And unfortunately, there are adversaries that are seeking to exploit and disrupt the technology that we're using. This has made cyber safety a basic life skill that everyone needs to understand from the earliest stage. We live in a technological world, and so it's important that we, we equip our parents and give them those tools to feel comfortable using technology and use it to enhance the relationship with children. Preschool STEM is not too young for preschoolers. In fact, it's absolutely necessary, so they're ready for K-12 STEM. Understanding um, the part of your brain that it is uh, quantitative and, and quantitative thinking, I don't think it's, it's too early to, for, for kids to understand that. We want them to be critical thinkers. We want them to, to, to be able to work together with one another. We want them to be able to problem solve. We're really excited to be a part of this collaboration with USC. It, it, it's a multiple layers of um, wonderfulness, if, if I may. We're going to be working with our children on STEM, as well as creating a curriculum for future early child, childhood educators to work with STEM in the classroom. It's crucial. For, for educators to, to know how to implement this successfully in the classroom um, in order to support children's learning and enhance their learning through technology. The nuts and bolts of the program are that we're going to embed technology into a STEM curriculum for both teachers and families to provide to children. It's really important that STEM learning experiences are natural and that their children are able to connect it to real life experiences because that's what makes learning fun. That's what makes learning meaningful. It's not just about just setting up different areas, it's about being intentional with how you set the environment and what real life experiences you present children with. Affording them these opportunities um, that they may not have otherwise is what our goal is, so that they can then decide equitably what they want to do with their life. Down the road, they'll realize engineering is not as hard as it might seem, and this may encourage them if they are seeking further education in STEM uh, or even careers in these disciplines. One of the most exciting aspects about being a researcher and a faculty member at USC is how the faculty, the administration, the students are very community focused. A lot of the work that they do is applied research and moreover, most of what they do is societally relevant and this project fits very tightly with that. We have families from various economic and social backgrounds and it's important that all of our children have a fair shot at doing what interests them, doing what they love. So this is a big pie in the sky dream for me that we will use this program to provide equitable and safe access to technology 
using developmentally appropriate practices across the nation and beyond so that children from all walks of life who may or may not have access to lots of contemporary technology will have access to developmentally appropriate use of technology and thereby um, equalizing the playing field.